Chiang Mai has a lot to offer, and for us, the food has been the best experience. The street food in Chiang Mai is amazing, and now we want to try out some popular restaurants. And then we're going to prepare some local Thai dishes. But first, Chinda hot pots. I've seen these restaurants all over Chiang Mai, and now we're finally trying it. We have never done this before. Now it's our turn to try it. Let's go. Fish meat mixed with various vegetables. Yeah. yeah, go for it. This is kind of stressful because if you don't take it now, you have to wait a whole <laughs> round before you come. Yeah. Make up your mind or else it's going to be gone for, for another five minutes. <laughs> oh, watermelon. What looks better? Green or greener or greenest? <laughs> Take this one, maybe. Yeah. The mushrooms with bacon around. Mm. Let's sit in this hot pot to cook for a little. I'm gonna dip in sauce, cashew sauce, extra chili. Let's try this mushroom as well. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's so good, man. Was it spicy? No, oh, it was, yeah, it was a bit spicy, yes, well, indeed. This soup was very spicy. I'm glad I split it in, in half because the other one is less spicy. <laughs> Test it, take one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to test everything. The green one is 10 baht, and the orange one is 20 baht. So, yeah, <laughs> you can eat a lot here, and it's still gonna be cheap.
this place really surprised me. I thought it was going to be very stressful, but you sit here and you don't have to stress about the food going away. It's always coming back to you. And yeah, it's a lot of sound, it's a lot of people, it's a very busy place, but if you take the time to chill, it's a really, really fun thing to do. It's like an activity while you eat. We want today try a local restaurant where we were uh, once we had booked a guided tour actually to a street market and she took us there. So now we're going there again. So we got our food here, so I got some stir-fried morning glory it's called and we got some mango salad, this is actually a bit spicy and we got some fried chicken with some rice. I got an um, omelette and some crispy pork, crispy fried pork salad, crispy fried pork salad. This is pork knuckles, they're really crispy, like snack. Mm. It's sour, salty, sweet, and spicy all at the same time. That was so good, actually. Mm. It's a good omelette. So we got a mango salad here. It's a bit spicy, but not that much. But it's very good, it's tasty, juicy, and we got some small, small shrimps here. Look at this, it's so cute. We got some vegetables, fried vegetables. Very good. Today we have booked a cooking class and we're going to learn how to prepare real Thai cuisine in six different categories. <laughs> Are you I'm excited? Ex yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> After a quick stop at a local market, we got a tour around the organic garden at Smile Organic Farm Cooking School by our lovely instructor. Then we got to choose from a menu in these categories. Curry paste, a curry dish, deep fried, stir fried, soup, salad and dessert. Our instructor walked us through all the different dishes we were going to make. First, we made spring rolls. Spring roll filling and how to wrap it by yourself today. We do vegetarian. Soy and mushroom. Non-vegetarian, just fish and oyster sauce. Two sugar, two mushrooms. Pad 
Thai video tofu and egg. No chicken, no meat. We do original Pad Thai. Serve with chili peanut rind. Oh my god, Pad Thai. And we made a spring roll. It's fresh and warm, delicious. is original from Chiang Mai. You can find this in Bangkok but not a lot. No veggie in cow soy and no vegetables. Salad, papayan is more popular. Flavor, spicy, salty, sweet, and sour flavor. Chicken salad, this one have a lot of coriander and red onion. It smells strong. Mango sticky rice, coco sticky rice have many steps to cook to do. You're gonna learn how to steam the rice, how to make the sticky rice have the blue color, green color, or pink color. Our restaurant visits, but Chiang Mai learned us to love the street food market. So now we're at another street food market that we did not mention in the last video, and it's called White Market. It's open from Friday to Sunday every night.